What's going on YouTube? So PlayStation has finally dropped the first major update that addresses some major issues that we're all battling with, you know? It's not gonna solve all the issues that we want solved with the PS5, but it's gonna solve some of them. And I'm not saying that there's a lot of issues with the PS5, but there's some things that you know we all expected at launch to launch with the PS5 as a feature that didn't launch with them. For example, storage. It's, it's been a huge thing since the launch. We want more. We want to be able to get that extra M2 slot unlocked. So we're going to see what this first major update is about. We're going to talk about it in this video and I want you guys to go down in the comment section and start a conversation about this new update. And let me know what you guys think about it. If you want to go ahead and read the full blog on this, make sure to go check down in the description. I'm going to put a link to the PlayStation blog where where I found you know this update and you guys can go ahead and browse through and read through it all if that's what you want to do also I'll let you guys know that this update will be launched tomorrow so April 14 let's go ahead and talk about these different things okay so I've got my phone right here with me and I'm gonna talk about the first one the ps5 storage expansion and management that's the first update so there's going to be a little bit of an update to storage expansion so store ps5 games on compatible external USB drives with this feature you can now transfer your ps5 games to USB extended storage from your console's internal storage it's a great way to extend the storage capabilities of your ps5 console and you can seamlessly copy your ps5 games back to your console's internal storage when you're ready to play it is faster to reinstall ps5 games from usb extended storage than to re-download or copy them from a disc what i'm able to take from this is that we're going to be able to transfer ps5 games now from the console the internal storage directly to you know an external usb drive or external hard disk drive whatever it is you're going to be storing it on as long as it's compatible with the ps5 you're going to be able to do that we also know that it's going to be faster to reinstall ps5 games from an external storage uh, drive than you know from a disc or to re-download it again from the PlayStation Store which honestly is not optimal at all so let's go ahead and keep going through this update because PS5 games are designed to take advantage of the console's ultra high speed SSD PS5 titles can't be played from USB extended storage PS5 titles also cannot be directly downloaded to USB extended storage however games that you transfer or copy back to internal storage will automatically update when applicable in addition you can select which game mode you want to install such as campaign or multiplayer for select titles that support the option so from what I can take from this one we're not going to be able to play games or ps5 games directly from external storage so that's not going to happen we're only going to be able to transfer ps5 games from the console directly to external storage I would have thought that you know using an external SSD would have been able to match the ps5's internal SSD storage and allow us to be able to play ps5 games directly off of an SSD it seems like that is not going to be the case it says right here for tips on using US USB extended storage on PS5, including storage device requirements, you can visit the link over here right now. So basically, I'm going to have this link down in the description as well, and you can find it in the PlayStation blog. So if you want to know about what requirements you'll need for your external USB drive or whatever you're going to be using to store these PS5 games, then you know go ahead and check out that link. So basically, we don't have the update for the M2 expansion yet. Apparently, PlayStation is still working on that and we should expect that update sometime in the future. The good thing about that is that PlayStation is set to expect that update sometime in the summer because most of the PS5 games are gonna start to come out between the end of the year and into the following year. The next update is more of a social one. New social features for PS4 and PS5 consoles. We already know screen sharing is a thing on the PS5, but it only works between two PS5 consoles. So you can't use it with any other consoles of any kind, not even the PS4. But I think with this new update, that's going to change. So that's about to change to Tomorrow. Cross generation share play. PS4 and PS5 players can now share play together while chatting in parties. This means PS5 console users can let their friends on PS4 consoles view their game screen or even try out the PS5 games through share play and vice versa. Options include the ability to share your screen with a friend, pass your controller virtually to a friend, or pass a second controller virtually to play co-op games together. Okay, that sounds pretty sick. So we've all been expecting some kind of cross-generation gameplay. You can already play PS4 games, PS3 games on the PS5 console. So now the addition of cross-generation share play is going to be epic. In my opinion, at least, I think that now that gives people an you know, opportunity to share games with their friends, or at least play games with their friends, and have that experience right there, you know, co-op games, and even give people a chance to try out PS5 games. 
because if you have a PS4 console, you can just share play now with the PS5, or at least by tomorrow you'll be able to do that and then go ahead and try out some PS5 games. Request to join game session. A selection of your friend's joinable game sessions will now appear on both PS5 and PS4 consoles, allowing for more gameplay opportunities together. The request to join option also serves as a shortcut to send in a game invite, reducing the time it takes for you to get into games with friends. Through the privacy settings menu, you can modify who can interact with you through parties games and messages. Okay, this is another cool one right here. As you can tell, I'm loving the new social features and cross-generation share play. So with what I can take out of the new request to join game session feature, I think it's going to be really awesome because that's just going to give people the opportunity to play more with their friends and just, you know, directly jump into people's game session. It used to take a few more steps to get, you know, your friend to join your game session in the past. But now with this new update, you can easily just join. The request to join feature is gonna have people sending you a bunch of requests to join. You get ready to get that because it's gonna happen a lot amongst your friends. You know, they're just gonna wanna jump into your session, whatever game it is, say Grand Theft Auto. That's gonna be awesome right there, at least for games like that. You know, most of the time I wanna jump into a friend's session, but I gotta go through hoops or, you know, wait for them to send me an invite to join their game session. And I never really liked that, man. It was a huge thing on the PS4. All right, for the next point in the update, enhanced control and personalization options for PS5 consoles. The game-based menu has been improved for quicker access to important content and features. You can now easily switch between parties and friends to start chatting with your existing parties or see what each of your other online friends is up to. In addition, you can turn notifications on or off for each of the parties you're in. That's awesome. More control, more freedom, more personalization options. So we're just waiting for the themes now. To be honest, we're just waiting for themes now. Disable game chat or adjust player's volume. You can now quickly disable in-game chat, which turns off your mic audio and the voice audio of other players. Additionally, you can easily adjust the individual voice chat volume of other players in the same chat so you don't have to ask your friends to lower or increase their volume or their mic volume each time. So that's another cool thing right there, being able to, you know, kind of reduce the volume of certain people because some people come in the party and they have their mic going all crazy and, you know, it's like somebody turned this mic off so you can control that now. You could always mute people, but you can control the volume of their mic from your end. That's awesome. That's sick right there. Game updates pre-download. Once it's enabled by developers, title updates for games or pre-download to your console if the automatic update setting is enabled and your console is on or in rest mode. This will let you start playing the latest version of a game immediately after the update's release. Just make sure to turn on automatic updates as well as keep your PS5 in rest mode. That way it can do it overnight and you can go ahead and just start with the latest updates as soon as you turn on your console, which is really sick in my opinion right there. Customize game library. With the ability to search your library or hide games from view, it's now easier to find content and personalize your view of your game library. So with the customized game library option, now we can hide games and keep some games on you know, the homepage. So you wanna be able to hide some things and not have all your PS5, PS4 games, everything all just on you know the homepage, because that way it looks a lot cluttered. If you want it to look a lot cleaner, then this new part of the update is going to appeal to you. You can now adjust the magnification of the screen to suit your preference from the settings menu. New trophy settings and stats screen. The level of trophies that result in automatic capture of a screenshot or video clip can now be customized. So you can now choose to only capture and save images or videos of moments when you earn higher grade trophies like gold or platinum. We're also introducing a new player trophy stats screen where you can check out the summary of your trophy level and status at a glance. So I'm not a big trophy stats guy because I don't really play all the way into every single game. I don't really, unless I enjoy a game really well, then I'll try to platinum it. Otherwise, I don't really play all different kinds of games and try to platinum every single game, you know? But if you're like that, then the trophy section is going to appeal to you right now. You can also choose when you want your, your PlayStation 5 to take screenshots or video shots. You know, usually it just takes it every time you get a trophy and every single time bronze gold doesn't matter what it is it'll take a picture or a video this new update allows you to customize how often or how frequently you want that to happen we're also introducing a myriad of new features for the playstation app to make it easier than ever to connect with your console experience remotely recently we introduced the ability to save products in a wish list get notifications when your friends are online, and change your console online status. In the coming weeks, we'll be rolling out even more, including the ability to join a multiplayer session on PS5 from the app, manage your PS5 console storage, compare trophy collections with friends, and sort and filter products shown in the PlayStation Store. You can download PlayStation app for free from Google Play and the App Store. That's pretty sick right there, because now they're giving more options and more control 
from the app. So now you can directly jump into a multiplayer session with your friends from the PlayStation app, as well as customize your storage, which is pretty sick. I don't know how often I'm gonna be using that, but honestly, I think that it's pretty handy and I might end up using it a lot. I might not wanna do those things on the console or remember to do those things when I'm on the console. We're only scratching the surface of the many updates and improvements we've made across PS5, PS4, and PS app. So check them out and let us know what you think. This is only the beginning apparently, so we're going to see way more and that's expected. I'm really happy that they've started to make improvements to the console already and I'm excited to see what the future brings. I'm excited to see the potential of the console. I'm excited to see it live to that full potential. And I know you guys are too. So I'd like to know down in the comment section what you guys think about this new update. If it solves any of your problems, any of your issues, I'd like to know. Let's start a discussion down below, but if you enjoy the video, you already know what to do, man. Spam that like button, let's get it up there. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. If you wanna see some more videos like this one, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now, and I will catch you guys in my next video. It's Midas, and I'm outta here, y'all.